Hey, what's happening, guys? I've got something uh, moderately interesting, I think, for you today. This is my Arduino radar targeting system. Now, it's not really radar. It is, in fact, using one of these HCSR04 uh, sonar slash sound sensors. And we have a nano here, an OLED display. And the sonar sensor is mounted on a servo. And since the servos can take a little bit of juice to run, I'm going to power it with this uh, breadboard power supply here. Uh, pretty simple hookups. We have the OLED, which is an SPI OLED. Let me zoom in here. And you can see we have VCC and ground going to our power rail. We have DN, which I believe is coming over to D10. Uh, clock, I think it's D12. CS, no. <laughs> oh, well, anyway, whatever they are, you can see it in the code. I, I've got them all neatly tucked here and I can't really see what's going on with them. And then we have the HCSR04 sonar sensor. And you can see we have ground and power on the outside coming to our rails for ground and power. And then we have echo and trigger coming over here to A4 and A5. So let me zoom out here just a little. I will plug this in and show you how it's going to work. So here we have our screen and we have these semicircles drawn on the screen and you can see here we have the sensor sweeping back and forth through its just about 180 degree range and when the sensor picks up something it will draw a line from this point which is the bottom center to a point up here that corresponds with the angular displacement of the servo and that way it will be able to track the movement throughout the entire range alrighty guys like this so far let's go and take a look at the code okay here is the code for my Arduino targeting system we've got a bunch of libraries we've got SPI for the OLED we've got wire I don't know why it's there but it was in the Adafruit example I might try running it without it see if that works we've got Adafruit GFX which we need to draw all our little drawy bits we've got the SH1106 which is the driver for the OLED we have servo to drive the servo and new ping for the sonar next we have our defines here these are for the OLED and these are for the sonar pretty simple now we've got three library calls we set up the uh, OLED called display using these arguments which we defined above we set up a servo called my servo and we set up a sonar from the new ping library called sonar with those arguments one global variable uh, integer called pause which is the position of the servo in degrees in setup I always start with the serial begin for debugging then we start the OLED and this is just some uh, splash screen type stuff after that's over we attach the servo and we are ready to rock and roll so the first thing we're gonna do beginning of every loop is we're gonna have our variable called echo which is the distance in centimeters and we're gonna clear the display from the last loop then we're gonna draw a layout the first thing we're gonna do is draw a square or a rectangle around the screen and then we're going to draw concentric circles but since they are positioned from the bottom center we're only going to see the top half of the circles then we show all that 
Now we begin our sweep. So our first sweep moves from position 0 to position 180, and we will write the servo to that position that moves the servo. Then from each of our one degree moves, we will send out a sonar ping. I'm just printing it out here for debugging. You can remove that. And then we'll see if it's in the range we want. Um, just for this demo, I've got it between 0 and 10 centimeters. You can make it wherever you want. Then we're going to create an integer called L. And we're going to map our position, which is degrees, from 0 to 180 to the width of the screen, 0 to 128. And then we will do this display draw line from 6464, which is the bottom center, to L, which is our mapped position, and 0, which is the top of the screen. We do it in white. We show it. Then we do it in black to clear it. Then we redraw the screen layout and wait 15 sec or 15 milliseconds. Then we just do the same thing in the other direction. And that is how it's done. Let's look at it in action. All right, here it is in action. And you can see, since there's a lot of crap on my desk, it draws a line when it sees something. And when there is no line, it doesn't see anything. So let me zoom in here a little bit and get a better look. It doesn't flicker in real life. The flicker is only from the camera. So if you like this, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up and share it. And feel free to feel feel free to comment. Wow, I can't talk today, can I? All right, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.